I'm absolutely fucking exhausted. So, this is gonna be a short one. Um, also, I think, I don't know, it feels like my camera gets worse and worse quality with every recording. If you want to support this show, um, feel free, uh, and, and I'll see if I can get a new camera. Uh, I don't know why this one would be dying, but it appears to be like, I can't even fucking get it to focus by doing this anymore. It just focuses to that point and then stops. Uh, anyway, my failing technology, um, aside, uh, I thought for a second today that I would talk, uh, about condescension in the vaccine crowd. And I'm saying the vaccine crowd because I feel like pro and anti-vax is a misnomer. Um, I ultimately think that most people will take a vaccine if they think it'd be good for them. And if they're not convinced that it'd be good for them, then not all the time. Some people are just not receptive, but most of the time it's because you, the medical industry, um, the establishment, politicians, uh, didn't do a good enough job of convincing people like me to do what you say, to take your advice, to allow you to put something in our bodies. And because of that, because of that, you know, lack of persuasion, uh, we don't want to. Now, what are the keys to persuasion? Well, typically, browbeating people isn't the way to go about it. Typically, uh, the way to go about it isn't to uh, get on a program like Jimmy Kimmel and make videos telling people that if they got information from the internet uh, to shut the fuck up and take the vaccine. Grow up. As though the ones behaving in an infantile fashion are the ones who are claiming that their position gives them some sort of exclusivity and control over information. It doesn't. In fact, every medical professional that I had heard of saying something different to what the mainstream wanted you to believe was cast out. They were shat on. They were made pariahs. You don't need to not be a doctor to have the medical establishment come after you. Like, for articles that I wrote for Agris Nexus, I cited many doctors who had fucking concerns. Like Vidarg, you know? Like those doctors out of California who got censored after holding a press conference because the press wanted a, prince, a press conference. Like any doctor who goes outside the established points, established talking points, will get the shaft. Um, and doctors who lie, they will do fine. They will do 100% okay, as long as their lies benefit the state. As long as their lies help the elite. Which is why, after Fauci admitted to lying, lying, um, about masks, uh, even though, you know, they might still not be all that useful, uh, he lied about them. And he said, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about wearing them in public. Now, either he lied about them then, and we should have to worry about wearing them in public, or he's lying now, and we don't have to worry about wearing them in public. But it's sort of one of those things where, you know, he says that they, that they lied uh, because they needed to maintain a stock of masks in the hands of healthcare professionals. But that's a lie. And they breached public trust. And no wonder the fucking public doesn't 100% trust them. Um, so, w I mean, when that happens, w when you find out later that the CDC has one year later started to say, hey, you know, all this hyper disinfection is nothing but medical theater and you don't actually need to do all that. 
<laughs> after saying people do. Uh, after after the massive amount of mixed messages as to how far to social distance. Um, after all of these people who were in the positions of anointed authority, uh, all nice and snapshotted with halo-looking symbols behind them for the mythology, um, all these people lied to you at least once. So, well, lied to us, anyway. I don't know, I'm getting my, my subject and verb mixed up with my fatigue here. But, all of them lied to you at least once. You know? Um, whether that was for a good reason or not, doesn't change the fact that we can't even trust whether the reason was good or not, since they lied. It also doesn't help that when people point this out, they're censored on social media, their tweets are fuzzed, they can't fucking spread. Uh, so then they spread by the Streisand effect and people quote tweet it because that's the one thing they can do. Uh, even though it doesn't list the numbers of quote tweets, there's still this Road to and 3 tweet that has not gotten taken down, which is still getting people quote tweeting it today because people don't like that it was censored. Um, and all of this around the same time that not only Trump, but a huge amount of Trump supporters and a huge amount of people like me who hate Trump were banned from multiple social media platforms because they decided to use it as an excuse to do what they've wanted to do for a while and get rid of us ne'er-do-wells. Uh, all this combines to create either the most convincing picture, which is not real, of a corrupt and evil media and government collusion system pushing propaganda, or a corrupt and evil media and government institution pushing propaganda. Either one. It's either the illusion, either it looks damn pretty fucking close to it, or... It's that. It's exactly that. So, you're not going to do any better convincing people like me, us batshit, tinfoil, basement, etc., uh, you know, conspiracy theorists, you're not going to convince us to take the vaccine by insulting us. Especially after so many things you've done have been actively insulting to our intelligence and after you have been caught lying. Why would we believe you now? Why would we make that choice now? Why, after some vaccines have been pulled, paused, etc., would we suddenly think that everything that flies out your gullets is fucking kosher? We have no reason to. So why... Would we listen to a normie show on Jimmy Kimmel where his audience, which is given cue cards to applaud, has done their doggy duty and fucking clapped when they were told to, giving you the illusion that people actually think that what you do is funny? Um, why should we believe those people when all they're doing is parroting the same condescending trash that you do. Why should we believe you when you're contradicting so many years of basic, you know, epidemiology that you've said, right? All these years we've been told to get outside, interact with each other, fucking get out in the sun, go exercise, fucking have good social relations, fuck a lot, eat right. Now we're being told to sit home sedentary in, 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 in our cells, sorry, houses, um, while, while, this, while this pandemic happens. And we're being told to do this uh, while not getting sun, no human contact. And if you interact, your life is on contract. I had to. Uh, no human contact, except through things like Skype, uh, Zoom, etc. 
no school. You can't have any socialization as a kid anymore. Um, no going out for exercise. No nothing. You stay home. You act like a good tax cattle. And we might give you a stimmy check. That's what this is now. Because you can't work anymore. Your stores are shut down. We're putting so many regulations down that you can't even feed your fucking families. But we might give you some stimmy occasionally to sort of batten down the hatches before you get evicted. Which you will, because these programs aren't for rent forgiveness, they're for rent pausing. And it's not like these programs are like, oh yeah, you, the, the rent is just paused and they can't collect it later. It's like, no, you're, you're ranking up debt and they can evict you if that debt gets too strong. And we're going to listen to these people now because they got some doctors on a very short video to condescend to us and tell us they're smarter than us. How do you fucking know? How do you fucking know you're smarter than me? Is it because you're on the other side of the camera? Well, I got a fucking camera too. And I'm looking into it right now. So who says I'm not the smart guy with the camera? Or is the camera not what makes it smart? Is the thing that makes it smart the things that you're saying? Towing the line. Because if it's only smart to tow the line then I guess anyone who questions anything the state says is stupid. Almost like this is fucking propaganda. Almost like you don't actually know how fucking smart people are, and if they're stupid, it's because you made them that way to begin with, with your propaganda bullshit. Trying to turn off that thinky part of their brain and say, let us do the thinking for you. If people are stupid, it's because you made them that way corporations, Jimmy Kimmel, rotting their brain out on all those stupid Trump jokes and you don't even have a sense of humor beyond ha, 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 other people stupid. You're fucking stupid, Jimmy. You don't even know how to reach people on a base level and you make things worse. If you were smart, you'd actually study persuasion. I watched a video just now by uh, a guy who I watch regularly. I watch three main medical YouTube channels. I guess medical is qualifies for one of them, but whatever. The pseudo-medical channel is what I've learned. Lots of good videos on co semi-controversial uh, subjects. Uh, the, the first video I watched went over how the entire system from cradle to grave is wrong and sort of teaching you to hyper-rely on things that paper over problems rather than actually addressing the root causes of them. Chubby Emu, who goes over, like, actual cases and says, hey, maybe we should, you know, look at the medical science behind these things, show people the chemical names and structures, show people how the organs work, um, and, like, show them that these things don't just exist in the ether in some textbook or in some video presentation, they actually happen. That's why his videos are all like, a TikToker drank 17 gallons of horse cum. This is what happened to his liver, or something like that. Um, and then the last one that I watch primarily is Medlife Crisis, because he goes over subjects in a relatively good way as well, and he's relatively even keeled. He went over this subject of Jimmy's bullshit um, in, in a relatively good video, and I recommend everybody watch it. Maybe I'll put a card or something. Either way, uh, he relatively strongly takes it down. And he goes over the fact that, you know, uh, nobody is going to be convinced by this, and it's going to cement people into the place that they're in, that doctors are just condescending assholes who look down on them and wag their finger and don't actually treat them like human beings with dignity. <laughs> it's a good video. I'm gonna, yeah, whatever, I'll put it, I'll put it in a card. But the point, the point I'm trying to make is that I'm not the only one making this. I have a relatively medical family, you know? I grew up in a relatively medical place. 
uh, where a lot of uh, a lot of ill and dying people go to die. It was not a pleasant upbringing uh, for a decent chunk of the time, uh, and I papered over it with things like video games and shit. Um, like you know, I'm I'm not mentally whatever stable. But the, the point is that, like, I know how to recognize a good medical channel when I see one. Those three are excellent. And they don't lie to you. They don't condescend to you. They don't treat you like shit for thinking for yourself. In fact, they help you think for yourself. That's what doctors should be here for. They should be here to first do no harm. And they should be here to teach people, be an advocate for patients, and not not treat them like lesser beings. But you know that economist thing I went over has big government as this giant hand holding a leash. And that leash is on a doctor. And that doctor is holding the dog. And you're the dog. Everybody has their nice little masky mask on. Everybody's doing what they're told. And the big brother hand in the sky, which has every option to yank the leash of the doctors, which... By, by the laws of physics, yanks your leash. Um, that's totally acceptable. That's totally fine. Um, that's what they want you to think. But not actually good doctors. Not doctors that give a fuck about you. Not doctors who want to see people do the right thing. I don't even think taking the vaccine is the right thing. I'm not going to say too much, but I know a lot of people who have taken it and either experienced adverse side effects or, uh, let's just say they're not quite breathing. I, I just, I'm not going to take it, but if you want to convince me to take it, shut the fuck up, Jimmy Kimmel. Anyway, uh, this has been a way longer rant than I thought it would be. I guess I got some energy. Um, but with that being said, this was brought to you by Opsec Drip, um, 240 glorious pixels of Shemog born, uh, libertarian news action. And, uh, feel free to, uh, go check out his channel because he sponsors this video. Um, and yeah, make sure his money is worth it. Uh, and feel free to sub to mine. Uh, <laughs> smash the state.